Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Saturday, July 1st, 2017, and I'm here at the Raritan River trying something a little bit different from what I normally do. I've got my fly rod with me, and I'm going to be using that to target some smallmouth bass. Um, I'm going to be starting out with a popper because it's one of the only flies I know how to fish effectively, and uh, also there's really no more fun way to catch a smallmouth bass than on top water. So we'll see where that gets us. Hopefully we can get some exciting blow-ups on some Raton River smallmouth bass. There we go. And he's a jumper. Not too big. But boy, are they fun on this fly rod. Oh, there's one with them, too. Smallmouth bass are pack hunters. Like velociraptors. Look at that. Clever girl. I'm the fly rod popper. I know I don't do it very often, but it is a fun way to catch them. All right, fun way to start the evening. Oh, that was a hit. I'll put it right back in there, see if he wants it. There we go, another jumper smallie. This one's even smaller than that last one. He's taking me around for a spin, though. All right, I'll bring you up here, little peanut. There we go. Looks like they're digging the popper tonight. Means a fun time for me. There we go. Is that a smallie? No, that's a sunfish. Well, he was hungry. That's not a small hook on that popper. <sighs> Too quick on the trigger. I think that's a sunfish that keeps doing that. Because the smallmouths have just been crushing it. I feel I have to apologize for the recent lack of videos on the channel. I'm actually going through a pretty stressful period right now. Um, not all of it bad, just stressful and time consuming. So I haven't been able to get out fishing as much as I've wanted. And the times I have been out fishing, I haven't been catching very much. Um, so, yeah, there have been very few uploads uh, for the past few weeks. But uh, that's not going to be permanent, hopefully. Um, I intend to get everything sorted out. And once I do, I promise you, I will hit the water as much as I really want. Which is as much as possible. Oof. Oof. Ah. Oh, wow. Okay, there are some thunderstorms in the area. Looks like at least one of them is getting a little too close for comfort. So, I'm going to get off the river and I'm going to wait for it to blow over. 
Hopefully it doesn't last too long. Looks like it's moving through pretty fast. Okay guys, we got a rain delay. Let's uh, let's check out the radar and see what's coming our way. And look at that. There's a vengeful swath of red coming straight at us. So definitely a wise decision to get off the river, especially when you're holding what is essentially a nine foot lightning rod. So I'm gonna chill out here for a while. Hopefully this will blow over and I'll be able to get a little bit more fishing in before dark, but we'll see. All right guys, so we had about a 40 minute stoppage waiting for that rain to go through. But the storm clouds have moved off, the rain has stopped, so the tarp is off the field, and once again, it is time to play ball. Oof! Oh my god! He broke off! Wow! That was a big fish, guys. That was a really, really big fish. And he broke the leader. Oh my god, I saw that fish's back come out of the water. That thing was a giant. Oh my god. Oh, wow, that sucks. If I wasn't such a novice fly fisherman, I might have had a chance to land that fish. But since I really don't know what I'm doing, he got the best of me that time. God, that was a big fish. I set the hook, it felt like I was in a log that was getting pushed downstream by the current. Good night. There we go. Well, he really blew up on it. All right. Ooh, he's giving this fly rod a workout. Trying to bring him up. All right. Yep, there he goes. Oh, geez, look at that. <laughs> I think I pulled on that one a little too hard. <laughs> Oh boy. You know, sometimes I may seem critical uh, of fly fishing in some of my videos. Um, mainly because it's, it's something I don't often do and I'm not really good at it. But I have a tremendous appreciation and respect for people who can do this well because it is not easy. So when I see somebody, uh, you know, lay a perfect roll cast to a rising trout, that's beautiful to me. And then on the other hand, you've got professional bass fishermen who can flip a creature bait 50 feet into a hole in the grass the size of a teacup. And that's beautiful too. And that's beautiful too. That's particularly beautiful. Ah, this is fun. This one doesn't want to come in. <laughs> I'm going to reel up the slack here. Fight this guy on the reel. I think he deserves that much.
All right, here it comes. Beautiful fly rod smallmouth. I need to need to use the hemostats on this guy. There we go. Perfect. All right. Back you go, you beautiful river smallmouth. Oh, jeez. That's a little bit better fish right there. He knocked the snot out of that thing. Oh yeah! I guess when you hook a fish on a fly rod, it kind of becomes a war of attrition. He is not giving up, and I hope he doesn't, because this is fun. All right, he's starting to get tired here. There we go. All right. Not a giant, but man, did he fight. All right, there we go. All right, baby. Get back in there and thank you for the fight. Really? <laughs> I am still a Guggen fly fisherman. Well, I think that's going to do it for this evening. It was a very eventful evening. Um, had a massive storm front move through. Had uh, a few smallies wanted to come out and play on the fly rod. And missed a giant fish that broke the leader as well as my heart. But you know what? That's just going to keep me coming back for more because we fishermen are kind of masochistic that way. So, thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next adventure.